Hey y'all, you know who it is. <laughs> it's your girl. No, I'm playing, but today I'm going to tell a story, you know, about these nut-ass jobs and these nut-ass, fake-ass, dumb-ass bosses, which really not bosses, like managers and supervisors that be taking it too far. Like, they need to <laughs> pipe a damn couple notches, like, what are you doing, sis? What are you doing, bruh? You don't own this company. Calm it down. So, like, basically, it's multiple times I wanted to smack a bitch. Like, let's just keep it 100. I'm not going to lie. not going to fraud. not going to act like I ain't never want to smack a bitch. I did. Like, people were always trying it. Like, they don't know how to not. They just do the most. So, it's like, when you be chilling or you goofy or you having a good time, they don't want you to be happy at your job. They want you to be miserable. Like, they miserable asses. It's, it's like, what's this? Like, why are you so mad? But anyway, it's like, so I work at Primark. Yeah, Primark. So I work at Primark, and like, all the people in here just got shitty attitudes. Like, everybody in here is mad for no fucking reason. Like, sis. The fuck? Why are you so mad? Like, you mad because you had to get up in the morning. You mad because you had to come to work. So did I. Calm it down. No one cares about your attitude. Like, you care? Like, when you come to prime work, do you give a fuck about a bitch attitude? No, you want them fucking shirts or those sweatpants or whatever you coming to get. You don't want to see nobody with thick, funky ass attitudes. So, people in that store. It's not even the customers. You would think it would be the customers that do the most. It's the end fucking employees to do the most. Like, they stay rolling out their eyes, doing something, doing the most. Mind you, I don't even be cute at work. I be ugly as hell. I don't give a fuck. No makeup. I never put makeup on for work. I don't care. Like, I did one day. I was in the mood. But that's besides the point. They just be doing the most in the store. Like, Somebody got smart with me the other day. You know what I did to that bitch? She was like, why y'all in this group like this? I looked at her and walked the fuck away. I don't know what the fuck she talked to but they, um, Next time I checked, my mama's name was LaRonda. Yeah, that's my mom, Rachel, that name. Last time I checked, my mom's name was LaRonda. Not whatever your name is. I don't even know the bitch's name. Not whatever your name is, bitch. Okay? This is Primark, sis. This not. This not even. This not Macy's. <laughs> this not Sex. This thing Forever Twenty One, bitch. It's Prime Mark. Calm down, like people really just be trying it. Like I be just. I'm working on myself, man. I'm working on myself. This is not even a story. This is pretty like a bunch of rant. Like, why do people think that it's okay for them to talk to you a certain type of way because they make a dollar more than you? Why do they think that's okay? Because it's the fuck not. I'm going to need you to take your little dollar and humble yourself because at the end of the day, you talking all this crazy stuff. And I worked at retail for a long, a long time. I know how retail work. You get in here, you sit in here, you beat and get smart with me. When you know one is one of these days it might be super busy and you might need me to come in on my day off. You know what the fuck I'ma say to you? You know what I'ma say to you? Just guess what I'ma say to you. Hell to the no, to the no, no, no. To the no, to the no, no, no. I'm not coming in for you. You might have it said the other day when you was getting smart, getting sassy, ho. Now that you need me, you want to be. Oh, Malika, can you come in today? 
No, I cannot come in today. Work them extra eight hours, ho. Make it a 16-hour shift today. And I know people say, yeah, go in there and get your money. Fuck that. It's other outlets to money. I'll just get another retail job. At this point in my life, I don't give a flying fuck about none of these. Listen, if you treat me bad in the store and any employment I get, I already know what I have to do. Go find another motherfucking job because this ain't going to work out. I'm not being miserable. You be. I'm not being miserable for nobody. Nope. Sorry. I'm so sorry about it. So, sis, you could get the step in. But I do want y'all to give me a round of applause for my finger. So, I'm working on myself. Give me a round of applause, please. But, y'all... Oh, you know how people, you know how you just don't give no fucks to give. You be looking for it, asking people around you, you got a fuck to give? Because I don't got a fuck. Not one single fuck to give. I don't know why people try every, like, I don't, everybody not to be played with. Everybody don't want to play all the time. Like, everybody not your kids. I know I look young. I'm not. I'm not young. I'm not young, sis. So stop talking to me like I'm your child. Stop talking. Just stop talking to me like I'm your child. I seen. T That's just not me talk about what people seeing in life. I'm just saying, they be trying it, and I don't understand why. Why? Why the fuck you try me? Why the fuck you try me? Why? Do you know why? Just. Like this video, comment, tell me about a time that one of your managers or your supervisors or even a motherfucking regular employee tried you. They be trying it all the fucking time. <laughs> Bye.